I would say China is a very unique and a successful experiment of our generation. In the twentieth century, probably one of the biggest happenings on the planet is the Chinese people rising above their poverty, rising from the pits of poverty and lethargy into an active force in the world, which is a tremendous thing for any… any civilization to do. But it is also time that the Chinese people turn inward. The last generation maybe had no time even to think about their joy. <laughs> but this generation must look at this because a time has come from simply hard work, to smart work has come. The previous generation spent its time in hard work. This generation must do the work in a smart manner. For this to happen, your brain and body must function at its best and that will not happen unless you know how to be peaceful and joyful by your own nature. In the process of creating the external, if you destroy the internal, then the very purpose is defeated. We are burning the world for nothing if people are not happy in the end. This is the right juncture where after having achieved a certain level of physical and material well-being, the Chinese people must also invest in their interiority. We must give up this insecurity that inner well-being will bring external lethargy. We must give up that idea because you know from your experience, only when you're truly joyful, you're willing to do whatever is needed. When you're little depressed, we can't get you going, <laughs> isn't it? You can't get a depressed person to be active and doing what is required to be done. But a joyful person is always willing to run and do things, not walk. He's willing to do everything possible, bend backwards if it's necessary. So this flexibility has to come into the Chinese people. This flexibility has to come into entire administration of the Chinese uh, uh, nation because I think it's an incredible achievement that one billion people have been taken from the depths of poverty to a certain level of well-being in one generation. This is something that it, the humanity should be proud of because never before such a thing has happened.